Hey, hey, Leo, intuitive soul coach here with your May 2023 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so you're showing up bold and strong here, Leo. I'm really loving this. We'll take a look at what you don't see coming and how those energies can help you move forward. And then we'll clarify these with tarot. And then at the end, we'll pull a card here from the Mystical Shaman Oracle. Now, right away, you start with this Scorpionic energy. This is all about going deep, going within, and it makes complete sense as we navigate through Mercury retrograde until around the 14th or so of May. This is a time for reflecting, reevaluating what is not working, what is, how can I pivot, course correct, or make changes in my world that are going to benefit me in the long run and now in the present as well. So this is about you really going within. And again, we'll clarify and see what this means for you. But I feel like you're unlocking a piece that may have been hidden from you that has to do with this heart chakra because this is scorpionic energy. It is the water element of emotion and love and connection. So I do feel here that there's something within the heart chakra that you are discovering, Leo, that you are uncovering or that you are bringing up to the surface to be healed and looked at in a new light. I really like this. I feel positive even though this may have felt like a challenge or a struggle at one time. I feel if you have been thinking of past memories or if you've had some things show up from the past, it could be triggers, some old scars, some old wounding, you're really going within and embracing that shadow. What do you need to do once and for all so it doesn't hold you captive? Now below this, you're coming in strong here. You have this Leo energy that says shine. This is like the sunshine in tarot. It's all about abundance, happiness, and success. That's what you're digging into, I feel. That's what you are getting a deeper look into. How can you bring more abundance, happiness, and success into your world? Some of you are really taking a look at your health, mental health, physical health, emotional health, and spiritual health as well. You may be seeking out an energy healer or practitioner. You could be learning Reiki or shamanism, meditation, tarot as well. I feel like there's this energy of you using the spiritual gifts that you have and that you hold to really shine and embrace this energy moving forward. So I'm loving that this is showing up in your reading here. All right, Leo, we also have Capricorn energy. Unleash your kindest self. Well, hello, heart chakra activation here. Going deeper is going to actually allow you, Leo, to go within and to tap into the portals of your heart that maybe you felt like you've blocked off, that you didn't have access to, or maybe you're chipping away at the walls that you've built up around this heart because of some trauma, pain, disappointment, rejections, or abandonments that you've suffered in the past. This is about you becoming better, not bitter. And I feel like that's a common denominator between all the signs in the month of May is having that free will choice to let the past define you and become bitter in a negative way or for you to grow and evolve from those challenges. Use them as your ally, as a teacher to become better. And I feel like you're choosing the latter. You're choosing to become better. And that's allowing you, Leo, to unleash your kindest self, not just to the world, but to you because you deserve love. You deserve happiness and you deserve abundance. It's your birthright. It's not even something that we should second guess, but it is because we have these conditions that are impressed upon us by past experiences. I feel like you are embracing the energy of love. It wouldn't surprise me to see the lovers showing up in your reading, the two of cups. I'm also getting the celebratory energy, four of wands. Some of you may even be purchasing a new home, shifting up the way that you live. You could be breaking down some walls within the heart area here or within a home as well and expanding or uh, bridging some sort of gap to create more space as well. 
You also have this new moon in Sagittarius. It says focus on the positive. Yes, we focus on the positive. It doesn't mean that we, we avoid the negative, right? It doesn't mean that we don't do the shadow work, but it means that despite when you bring up that shadow, you're able to see the silver lining. You're able to see how it can help, not hinder. That's what this truly means. Focus on that attitude of gratitude and stay positive despite what surroundings have shaped you in the past here. And that's that becoming better, not bitter energy because it's inevitable to go through disappointment and change and challenges and setbacks. That's part of the human experience. So I feel that a lot of you, you're really going within and you're rediscovering a piece of yourself that you may have felt was hidden or lost or you haven't had access to for quite some time. You know when you hear people talking about the missing piece, there's something missing out of my life or I wish I had this or I wish I had this relationship or this job or I'll be happy when I retire, I'll be happy on Friday. This is about you discovering and realizing that that missing piece you'll never find externally. It happens from within and then you're able to manifest what you want that to truly look like and be externally. I hope that makes sense. It kind of sounds ironic. It kind of sounds like a, it's putting the cart before the horse type of thing here, but I feel like you're going within and that's why you have this go deeper card as your very first card, Leo. Now, what else do we have here? We have Capricorn energy. Take a reality check. This is the perfect time to take a reality check when we're in Mercury retrograde. Take a look at what's working. What relationships are one-sided? What is fueling you and what is depleting you, right? It's, it's almost like when you take your your vehicle to go get fine tuned, to go get an oil change, right? They check, they check the other fluids and they check tire pressure. It's kind of like you going for a wellness check. Uh, I feel like this is what you're doing at this time. And you're saying, okay, where do I de feel deflated? Uh, or depleted, excuse me. Uh, some of you literally deflated, but I feel that, I mean, some of you may actually need to take your car in and get an oil change or get something looked at as well. Maybe we'll see uh, Cancerian's chariot energy showing up here for you, Leo. But I do sense that you're taking a reality check and you're getting all your ducks in a row, so to speak. And you're saying, all right, I'm going deeper. I've been reflecting. I've been reevaluating. I'm unleashing my kindest self here. I am staying in this energy of, energy of gratitude and I'm focusing on the positive, not the negative. And it's really shifting up your vibrations. I'm also getting that a lot of you Leos, you may start to see things in third party. This has been happening to myself a lot lately as well, where you may be having out of body experiences not while you're astral traveling, not while you're meditating, not while you're sleeping. Yes, those things, of course, those are the, the regulars or the, the times that we typically can astral travel but or have an out-of-body experience. But I feel a lot of you are having them during your waking life. So for example, you may be having a conversation and boom, before you know it, it's like you're over here and you're able to view the conversation from a neutral point of view, neutrality from a higher perspective perspective instead of duality, instead of being in it. And I feel that's happening here for you as well. So you're saying to yourself, wow, that's not what I, what I would have done in the past because you're able to see it from a new way while you're in it. I really hope that makes sense for you. But this is going to allow you to move forward. And that's what you don't see coming as well. You don't see how deep you're really taking something here, whether this is within your own self, your own healing, a relationship, a career, but you're committing and you're doing the work here and your work's going to pay off in more ways than one. You have this Cancerian energy of relaxing. This is just relax, uh, go with the flow and embrace this time of, if you feel a little bit bored or if you feel like there's some downtime, sometimes when we have that moment of pause, we immediately try to fill it up. Fill it up with busy work or fill it up with you know productivity, but it's okay for you just to, to lay in a hammock and read a book. It's okay for you to take a nap, even at your desk, right? It's okay for you to journal and drink some tea in the morning and just reflect before you start your day. So I, I sense that there's this energy, Leo, that you are partaking in that is bringing about a new shift 
a new positive shift because you're taking a little bit of time to just be, to just enjoy the moment as well. Now, some of you, you Leos, you're on that Cancerian cusp as well, uh, or maybe you're dealing with a, a Cancer, but I do feel for a lot of you, this is about enjoying some downtime. You may even be traveling because you have this shine. You may be heading towards a place where there's water. There could be more um, sunshine as well because Cancerian, you see all this water here. I do feel like there could be a mental health day or a weekend getaway or just taking some time to spend in the great outdoors for you to really go within and gain that introspection that you've been seeking. And your final card here, Cancer, is Scorpionic Energy. Excuse me, not Cancer, Leo. We are just dealing with Cancer. Uh, so your final card, Leo, is this Breathe Through Tension, Scorpio Energy. Now, Scorpio is also uh, your, a fellow water sign of Pisces here. So a lot of you are going within that emotional center here. And it may take you by surprise. Some of you may just, you might start to tear up in the month of May. If you haven't noticed this already, Leo, your emotions may feel quite intense. I'm also sensing here that you may see something, whether it's a, an ad on on social media or on television that really, really pulls at your heartstrings. So for example, uh, sometimes they have those pets on, uh, you know, on, on an advertisement, those pets that are malnutritioned or need homes. Uh, it could be it could be children. You have a soft spot. They're showing me here that there could be a soft spot that you have for women and children, for pets, for Mother Earth, for, uh, you know, recycling, making the world a better place than when you came in, trying to do your duty, try to do your due diligence here. And I feel that it's going to actually help you break through, break through some of this tension that has been building up. So if you can get out there and be of service, whatever that may look like for you, I really sense it's going to help you not just go within, but it's going to help you feel more freedom, more liberated from the tension, from the stress, from anxieties. Now, overall here, your reading looks really good, but let's clarify and dive in. All right, what do we have here for Leo? We're going to take a look at the scorpionic energy of going deeper. What is it that you are going deep within and taking a look at? What is this going deeper all about here for Leo? All right, Leo, there's that four of wands. Beautiful. That's that energy earlier that we mentioned all about maybe a vacation. It could be a new home. This is celebratory energy, shaking things up a little bit to create a solid foundation. And the way that I always see this is, you know, taking a look at a table or taking a look at a chair, it may have felt like it was holding up on three legs, right? But three legs isn't it doesn't hold it up right. You need the four legs to feel like that solid foundation. And I feel like there's some sort of either soulmate connection. This could be the card of 1111 as well. When the four of wands shows up, I feel like you're really going within and saying, how can I create and build stability? How can I create this, uh, this, celebratory energy here of communal achievement to coming together. This can even be halfway to marriage. It can be vacationing, wedding. Uh, this can be a home, a move, shifting up space here. You could be getting together with your soul tribe, uh, other, other people that share your interests, your like-mindedness here, four of inspiration. You're definitely feeling inspired to go within and to create stability in a deeper way. So this makes complete sense that that's showing up here because this is a really strong energy coming through in the beginning of your reading. Now let's take a look, Leo, and dive into you. What's the shine all about? I do feel here because we have this right below that some of you are really shining and excelling when it comes to some sort of milestone that you've hit. Okay, Four of Wands can be about a special occasion. It can be celebrating or honoring you for a job well done. It can be an award as well. It can be graduating to the next level or it can even be buying a home, uh, promotion, or even engagement. Something regarding your stability here in the physical, but it's going to feel like really good. It's going to feel like it's shining here right on your uh, solar plexus and your heart is what I feel. A lot of happiness and a lot of abundance. But let's clarify the shine card for Leo here. What do we have 
for this shine, the sun energy of abundance. What do we have coming in here? Oh my gosh, you can't make this up. This is wish fulfillment, nine of cups energy. So what you don't see coming here is whatever your wish is, you're shining, you're on cloud nine. Uh, I'm getting here that some of you, and I think, did we talk about real estate earlier? Some of you may be uh, moving. Maybe you're getting some sort of a contract. It could be a real estate contract, a business contract, or it's a new soul contract coming in for you. It could be a soulmate. It could be uh, that 1111, making a wish, manifestation. So whatever it is, I feel like you don't necessarily see this coming, but it's going to put you in this just beautiful energy because your hard work is paying off, Leo. So just powerful. I'm loving this. Let's take a look at this Capricorn energy of unleashing your kindest self. What's this all about and how can you unleash your kindest self? What do you need to do to unleash that kind self of yours? Get out of your own way. Get out of your own head. Sometimes we self-sabotage. Sometimes we don't think we're good enough. We second guess ourselves, our intuition. We get in our own way, right? We don't trust. You can see here that this Eight of Swords is replaying a mental story over and over and over. And she's being asked to trust her intuition at this time. She's blindfolded and she doesn't even have her arms. But a lot of that is because of her own uh, doing at times. Feeling stuck or trapped or restricted. Feeling helpless. This is all about letting go of that old story or that old mental block in order to free yourself. Yes, free yourself. Whatever has happened in the past, you don't have to let that define you, Leo. You don't have to let that energy uh, bring out the worst in you. And I feel like... I feel like you are choosing, and again, I say this all the time, you're probably going to get sick of it, but I, hopefully it's something that you can ask yourself in times of stress. Do I want to let this challenge make me bitter or make me better? Because you have free will. You absolutely do. But what she's choosing to do here is become bitter and to sabotage success. She may be afraid of it. She may, may fear it. And if that is the case and you have a hard time releasing this you may want to work with a professional you may want to take something to the next level or you can on your own go deeper go within but you have this connection you have this support group right here with this four of wands to get this wish fulfillment this is your energy leo so sometimes it's just us we get caught up in our own mental stories our own blocks i'm guilty of it we all do it no one is void of it the important thing is awareness and being aware of when we're doing this and say whoa wait a second, we don't want to get caught in that mental trap. We know what it is. It's, it is just a mental trap. It doesn't have to define us. Let's become better. And that's what you're choosing to do. So let's take a look at this. Focus on the gratitude here with the Sagittarian energy. What do we have here for Leo? What's this gratitude all about? And how can, how can we incorporate more gratitude into Leo's life? Okay. Thank you, spirit. All right. You have a plethora of cards that fell out here, but we'll read them all. Five of Pentacles, focus on the gain, not the loss, because the Five of Pentacles can feel like you are a bystander, like you are outside looking in or vice versa at times. It can be about feeling left out. It can be a job loss or illness. It can be bankruptcy in the past, financial or material changes. It can be pride. It can be neglecting a situation. And I feel that it's time for you to take action. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is the Knight of Voices showing up here. And this is all about action. It's the fastest moving night in the tarot. And I feel like you're no longer sitting in this energy of bitterness. You're saying, you know what? Uh-uh. It's not working for me. I'm so close to my wish fulfillment. I can taste it. I can smell it. I can see it. It's right there. It's time to take action, right? It's time to end some sort of a cycle. I love this. You have the world showing up here, Leo. This is all about a happy ending. It's about an accomplishment. Cycle complete, right? There's rewards at the end of, uh, at the, end of the, the tunnel, so to speak here. Some of you are traveling the world. There is the sense of wholeness, a sense of fulfillment, completing one a huge chapter of your life, right? This is the final card in the major arcana. So you've gone through the whole fool's journey here. You've done it all. 
There's no sense in going back to, you know, uh, the justice or the devil or the tower because you've completed up a cycle here. And there's the Empress. This is about you giving life to a brand new chapter, a brand new beginning here. And when this Empress shows up, this is all about abundance and you embracing that God or that goddess within, being creative, being receptive, nurturing your dreams, growing as well. So I love that this is showing up here for you because this is about you focusing on the positive. All right, beautiful. Let's take a look at this reality check. This can sometimes come in like a ton of bricks at times. It can come in unexpected. So let's take a look and see what this is for you. What is this reality check coming in for Leo, please? All right. There's that two of cups. Beautiful. We talked about that, I believe, in the beginning. This is all about coming together, uh, soulmate energy, or it is just feeling that connection, that law of attraction to receive what it is that you want in your world. It's about important partnerships. And I feel like you're really getting into alignment with the law of attraction because you're getting honest with yourself, Leo. And sometimes that's difficult. Sometimes we put on a, a facade or we put on our best face, but we're, we're not living inside. We are depressed or we are, you know, trying to just hold everything up. But deep down, we're suffering. That's why you're being called to go within. Now, I'm not saying each and every one of you are suffering, but you could be taking a reality check and saying, is this important for me to connect? Uh, am I feeling detached here? Or is can I move towards a higher union or a new soul contract? Can I come together in an existing contract here? So really taking a reality check and seeing what's working and what's not and what can be done to mend, to fix, to heal, or to part ways, right? All right, Leo, let's take a look at this Cancerian energy of relax. What do we have here for you when it comes to just some downtime, relaxation? Ooh, we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, embrace that nurturing self, okay? Focus on that, the spiritual side as well. Maybe pull some Oracle cards, do some Reiki healing on yourself if you are attuned to Reiki or get it done. Uh, pet pedicure, manicure, massage. Take some time out for you if you can. Of course, it doesn't have to include money. Get out in nature. Go for a walk. Uh, offer to watch your friend's children or the grandchildren here, get out with your inner child, have a little bit of fun, page of material showing up, page of pentacles. This can be opening yourself up to a new way of doing things. It can be receiving even a message regarding your finances. It can be looking at your finances from a new perspective as well. And that may be something that you are stressing about, could be finances, you could be really... <laughs> You may be feeling it here with this Queen of Cups. You may take things uh, at, at a level that may feel very, very personal. This is about you filling your own cup first, okay? This is definitely about you filling that own cup first. Yeah, and I accidentally just picked up this because I was looking for the other card that came along with this. I thought we had another one, maybe not. Uh, but the Three of Swords is showing up here. This is about you feeling you and loving you 100%. All right, last but not least, let's get... This Scorpio energy of breathing through the tension. How can we help you breathe through the tension of life's stressors? What do we have here for Leo, please? All right, what do we have for Leo? The Hierophant, beautiful energy here. So when we have this tension, this is about you going, going within. The Hierophant can be about being divinely guided. It is all about taking a look at your beliefs, your morals. What were you taught? Is there any limiting beliefs that need to be upgraded? Can you go within, go deeper? That's your first card out here. Remember, go deeper and take a look at your relationship with money, your relationship possibly with your parents. This could be a relationship with self I'm getting as well. There could be a reprogramming of a belief system. Okay. Some of you may have been taught that in order to get a certain outcome, you had to do it a certain way. And you are realizing that that may not be the case. Maybe that's something that you learned or that you were taught in the past, but, and maybe it worked for you at that time, 
but you're realizing and coming to this understanding that you need to listen to your body, listen to your own intuition, and no one else can make that choice for you. Okay, no one else. And this is about you trusting in what's best for you, right? And so I feel like this Hierophant is showing up here to say it's time for you to take a look at health, body, mind, soul. It's time to upgrade any belief systems that were just an illusion or maybe they are not serving you any longer because that's going to allow you to break through this tension. You taking a look at those morals and standing humble, staying humble, standing within your integrity and within your own truth. And sometimes it can be difficult to go within and say, well, what is our truth? Maybe we lost ourselves along the way and we don't even know what is true for us or what is up or what is down, right? This is saying you have everything you need within you to truly trust, to truly go within, to focus on the positive, and to come out stronger. And I absolutely feel you will, Leo. Very powerful messages here. All right, we're going to take a look and get an oracle message from the Mystical Shaman. Now, I absolutely love this deck. I don't use it too often, but we're going to use it today, and we're going to read the Invitation, which is like the upright, and then we're going to read the Medicine, which is the reversal or the medicine of how you can move forward. So just to clarify here, I feel like what you don't see coming is this wish fulfillment, but there is a little bit of work around unleashing your kind of self, Leo, getting out of your head, getting out of your own way sometimes, and knowing that you have everything you need to make this wish a reality, to nurture and take care of yourself, to focus on the positive. Uh, also, how this is going to help you move forward is this final card here of of this, again, Hierophant that we just talked about. So really beautiful energies. Oh, I love this. You have the hummingbird. Okay, who just filled up their hummingbird feeder? Because I'm getting someone may have just filled up their feeder, or you may have just done some research into making your own hummingbird food as well. Now, you may be 26 years old or have a birthday on the 26th. All right, and the message here is this. Despite being so little, hummingbirds are great journeyers, migrating between North and Central or South America to feed from the summer nectar. The gentle creature can be fiercely territorial to protect its home. Hummingbirds teaches us to be gentle to ourselves and protect our personal space. Hummingbird invites you to embark on your epic quest, bypass the dung pile of old pain and hurts, head for the flowers and learn to trust the calling you hear ever so softly. I love this. It literally talks about what we've been talking about here. Four of Wands energy is about, uh, you know, that home territorial space and then it also talks about uh you know the dung energy of releasing fears that have set us back but also being gentle and unleashing our kind of self so beautiful analogy there now the invitation is this the buzzing you feel is the sound of your hummingbird wings preparing you to say yes to a new adventure this is not the time to lin linger on what has gone wrong but to trust in the rightness of the moment and take bold action Trust that success is assured, Leo, even if you must face tests and challenges to reach your destination. Know that all will be well because the all is in the small. I love it. The all is in the small. And the medicine is this. This mighty being comes to teach you stillness in motion and to trust your inner knowing that the sweetest nectar is assured. Failing to act when the moment is right can spoil your journey. Even if you feel, if you feel your safety, comfort, or day-to-day -day survival are more important than saying yes to the invitation to explore the unknown, you will have work you will have to work much harder to achieve what is being offered to you freely now. Still your mind, even in the midst of your very hectic schedule, and heed the gentle voice that calls you to test new wings. Yes, this is time for you to take flight. Test those wings because there are great discoveries and great doors and new opportunities showing up for you that maybe you do or do not see coming, but this is a very, very important time for you to be alive, Leo. So make sure that you are embracing this side of yourself and that you are 
feeling inspired and you're not letting this energy of self-sabotage or an old mental story hurt or wound get in the way from you spreading your wings. That is what I have for you, Leo. I hope it resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the divine channel messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to share, like, comment, hit that subscribe and bell button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in, beautiful souls. Lots of love.